Greetings my dear learners. This is module 5 of unit 2 mineralogy. In this module we will be seeing calcite and mica group of minerals. My name is Sarat Kumar. I am working as an assistant professor in department of civil engineering GCE Dharmagiri. You can note down my mail id here. If you have any queries or doubts you can send it to this mail id. In this module we will be seeing various chemical composition, atomic structure, varieties, physical properties, weathering, occurrences and uses of calcite and mica group of minerals. In both this group of minerals, calcite is a mineral, it is not a group of mineral, whereas mica is a group of mineral, but in both these groups, this isomorphism and polymorphism does not exist. So, we will be seeing varieties in both this group. Mica. Mica is the family name of similar silicate minerals. So, mica is also have a base material of silica. As rock forming minerals, these rank next to feldspurs, morphic minerals like pyroxenes and amphiboles and quartz in abundance. So, next to feldspur, morphic minerals like pyroxenes and amphiboles and quartz, mica minerals are the most common rock forming minerals. Some of the mica minerals are shown in the figures in the slide. Its chemical composition. It may be described as silicates of aluminum and potassium together with magnesium and iron. Some varieties contain sodium, lithium, and titanium. The hydroxyl radical is always present and is replaced partially by fluorine. So, the OH iron is always present in this group of minerals and is replaced partially by fluorine. The common radical present in all mica is AlSi3O10. OH twice, it may be OH or sometimes the hydroxyl ion is replaced by fluorine ion. Atomic structure. All micas are phyllosilicates, that is in their atomic structure, SiO4 tetrahedra are arranged in a sheet pattern, growth in two dimensions. In pyroxene and the amphibole group, we have seen growth in three dimensions, whereas in mica, the growth is in two dimensions. It is almost like a thin sheets. This is responsible for the cleavage character and the lamellar form of micas. They have 4 to 10 ratio of silicon and oxygen. All micas crystallize in the monoclinic system, but the crystal form resembles hexagonal forms. Varieties Based on its optical orientation, based on its optical orientation, micas are grouped into two categories: muscovite micas and biotite micas. In muscovite mica, Again, it is classified into muscovite, paragonate and lepidate based on its, if the mica contains potassium, it is called potassium muscovite. If it contains sodium, it is contain, it is called paragonate. If it contains lithium, it is called lepidolite. Whereas in biotite, the magnesium containing mica is called a biotite. The magnesium mica with some different properties are called folgopite and lithium mica is called zinvalidate. The most common occurring mineral in this group of minerals is muscovite mica and biotite mica. The first figure is in a which visual representation of muscovite mica and the second one is biotite mica. The chemical, various chemical composition of these varieties of mica are given here. Among these types of mica, muscovite and biotite occur very commonly. Muscovite is an important non-metallic economic mineral. So, muscovite uh, it is not a uh, rock forming mineral, it is a non metallic economic mineral. Bio biotite is the common rock forming mineral. Physical properties form lamellar form as thin separable layers it occurs, color muscovite it occurs as silvery white, whereas biotite it occurs as black. So, the muscovite is also called as white mica, whereas biotite it is also called black mica, streak, pale body color. Luster fairly to vitreous, fracture uneven fracture to hackly, cleavage excellent cleavage, one set bezel cleavage, hardness is in low range 2 to 3, biotite is slightly harder than muscovite, density it, uh, it lies in the medium range varying from 2.7 to 3.1, degree of transparency is transparent, occurrence igneous rocks as this microgroup of minerals occurs as 
accessory mineral muscovite is found in granites and uplates secondary muscovite called sericite also occurs biotite is a more common accessory mineral of granite also occurs in dorites and diorites since muscovite is a non metallic economic mineral it's very limited in quantity and found very less whereas biotite is a common rock forming mineral so it is uh, found in granite and in norites and diorites sedimentary rocks occurs as illite illite is one variety of clay derital mica occurs sometimes in shales and sandstones of sedimentary rocks metamorphic rocks occurs in gneiss schist and as fine grained muscovite type sericite uses of mica group of minerals the combination of excellent cleavage flexibility elasticity and low thermal conductivity infusibility and high dielectric strength makes unique and valuable this mica group of minerals this mica group of minerals as told have wide range of unique characteristics about 90% of production of this sheet mica is used in the electrical industry for condensers and as an insulating material between commuter segments and in heating elements so it has low thermal conductivity infusibility making it a very unique min mineral and also very valuable mineral in electrical industries it is used as a condensers as an insulating material between commuter segments and in heating elements ground mica is used as a filler and as a dusting medium to prevent such materials as rubber goods asphalt roofing asphalt tiles from sticking together folgopite mica which is a variety of muscovite mica is used in the industry in the same way as muscovite it is preferred for electrical commutators since it's wear out the same as the copper segments it also has greater heat resistance lipidoid as we have seen lipidoid contains lithium and it is this mineral is mined as an ore of lithium so the next mineral we are going to see is calcite it is the most important rock forming carbonate mineral till now we have seen feldspar pyroxene group amphibole group next we have seen mica group all these minerals have the base material base chemical as silica so all those minerals are grouped in a silicate family whereas this is the calcite is the important rock forming carbonate material so it has caco3 as the base material it is valuable in making nickel prisms of a petrological microscope for producing polarized light some pictures of calcite in various forms are shown in the slide chemical composition as i told calcium carbonate is the composition of calcite caco3 but usually part of ca content is replaced by magnesium of natural waters leading to the formation of dolomite medium dolomite mineral so if calcite caco3 some part of calcium is replaced by magnesium will result in a new mineral called dolomite so in dolomite there is 45.65% of magnesium carbonate and 54.35% of calcium carbonate so dolomite is a secondary material when the calcite mineral when calcium in the calcite mineral is replaced by magnesium it is not a, you have to you have to be very careful it is not a mixture of these two but a homogeneous mineral material so to be called as a mineral the material should be homogeneous and dolomite is homogeneous it is a mixture of two but in a homogeneous way iron carbonate may also be present in dolomite to certain extent atomic structure calcite crystallizes under the hexagonal system isomorphism and polymorphism aragonite vitrite and calcite are the minerals having the same chemical composition as calcium carbonate all the minerals like aragonite vitrite and calcite have the same chemical composition as calcium carbonate but aragonite crystallizes under the orthorhombic system whereas vitrite and calcite crystallizes in hexagonal system so this is polymorphism isomorphism does not exist in calcite polymorphism so all these minerals have a same chemical composition 
since their atomic structure is different they show different characteristics isomorphism does not exist in calcite varieties there are many varieties of calcium calcite one is island spur it resembles pure transparent colorless type next one is satin spur less common fibrous form of calcite halfrate rare lamellar form of silicate stalactite this we have seen in the geological action of uh, river or sea water hanging columns from the roof of a cave stalagmite floor deposits of caves travertine spring deposit chalk chalk we as we all know chalk it is soft white earthy form of calcium carbonate there are limestone varieties the one we use to paint our uh, homes limestone varieties among first calcium carbonate material so physical properties of calcite form its rhombohedral color usually colorless to white streak white luster vitreous fracture rarely noticed due to three well developed sets of cleavage cleavage conoidal uh, means uh, cleavage three sets of perfect cleavage cleavage angles 105 degree and 75 degree hardness 3 density medium 2.7 degree of transparency transparent to translucent special property double refraction due to this property a dot or line marked on paper appears to be double when viewed through a lens per calcite occurrences this chemical composition of calcite calcium carbonate here it's the q is missing in calcium calcium carbonate occurs either as limestones in organic or inorganic and in the crystalline so normally the calcite occurs in two forms either as limestones of massive form or in crystalline condition as marble so uses of calcite in the pulverized form calcite is mostly used as a filler in rubber and textiles it is also used in considerable quantities in the ceramics industry for the preparation of glasses super white powder is used in the manufacture of paint and distemper it is also used in the manufacture of insects insecticides cement calcium carbide and metal polish it is invaluable in the preparation of nickel prisms in optical industry so it is used in almost all the industries like glass industry paint industry insecticides cement metal polish and main application is in the preparation of nickel prisms in optical industry Thank you.